Hey guys, Roman here, and in this video, I wanted to do a deep dive into which NVIDIA or AMD graphics card driver produced the highest performance in Black Ops 6 multiplayer and Black Ops 6 Warzone. So for today's video, I went through and installed seven different NVIDIA drivers, as well as three different AMD drivers. I then went into the in-game benchmark, performed three benchmark runs to get a more or less stable result. And then I also hopped into a game of Plunder on Urzikstan to try and see if I could also find any patterns when benchmarking on Big Map. Now, I really want to stress that the benchmarks that I performed for Urzikstan are not super robust, especially the 1% lows are going to fluctuate quite significantly from driver to driver. And you would think that there is a different, but it's really just run by run variants, because in some games, maybe you'll have more players dropping into that area of the map. Maybe in one game, you have somebody um, popping down a uh, cluster strike. Maybe there's also some smoke grenades going off, which all affect the 1% lows significantly. So when you look at these graphs, please don't overinterpret the 1% lows and rather look at the averages because they are much more robust and they don't tend to um, react to sudden spikes or sudden drops in FPS as much as the 1% lows, of course. On the other hand, the multiplayer benchmark segment really is much more robust and mostly gives you exactly the same performance run to run. So with that, let's jump into the results for our NVIDIA graphics card drivers. On this visualization, you can see the oldest driver at the top and the latest driver at the bottom. And I want to highlight that the driver 566.03 was the first driver where Black Ops 6 was officially supported by NVIDIA, which is why I put the percentage differences there to zero and everything else is relative to that measurement. So the plus or minus percent always are relative to the 56603 driver. Now, first, I actually want you to focus on the orange and reddish colors because those are for the in-game benchmark segment of the game. From this, you can actually see that from driver 555.90 to the very latest driver, the differences are within one or two FPS to each other. In other words, there is basically no difference in performance between pretty much all of these drivers when it comes to the built-in benchmark of Black Ops 6. On the other hand, if I'm using a very, very old driver, such as driver 52802, which has actually been installed by default by the system when I uninstall my drivers, then you can see that performance significantly drops. Focusing now on the blue bars, which are the results for Urzikstan. Once again, I want to stress that the 1% lows are not very reliable and you shouldn't overinterpret them. But then again, when we look at the average FPS, we can see that essentially all of the drivers perform roughly identical. The only exception to the rule, again, is the super old driver 52802, which performs significantly worse. Now, as I mentioned before, it's worthwhile to not just look at the average performance over the entire benchmarking segment as a whole, but instead also look at the variation of FPS through the entire benchmark segment. From this, we can nicely see how stable the performance is that we get from the game and how often we have these very strong reductions in FPS, which we would perceive as apparent stutters. To begin with, let's compare the two NVIDIA drivers that natively support Black Ops 6. And from this we can see that these two drivers perform pretty much identical. Now from here on out, I'm just going to show the latest driver, so 566.36, and compare it to some of the older drivers that don't yet natively support Call of Duty Black Ops 6. The first one is going to be 565.9, and here I'd argue that those two drivers perform pretty much identical. There isn't much of a difference. Uh, maybe on the red line we see a few more dips, um, especially in the first part of the benchmark segment. But generally, those two drivers perform pretty much identical when it comes to the stability of performance in Black Ops 6. The same is true for driver 561.07. However, overall, I would argue that the latest driver performs slightly better. So that means that the blue line is slightly higher up on the graph compared to the red one. Moving to an even older driver with the version 560.7 and here we start to see some issues. Now I want you to focus on these red spikes at the bottom of the plot where it appears that the old drivers actually does stutter from time to time which makes the game feel not as smooth as with the latest driver. 
So based on this, my recommendation would be to actually not use this driver or any older driver for Black Ops 6 because it appears that the game becomes a little stuttery. And finally, if we are looking at the performance of the very old driver 528.02, we can clearly see that now overall performance is much worse than with the latest driver 566.36. So this figure very nicely summarizes that older drivers do not lead to better performance than new ones. Moving on to the results for the different AMD drivers. And here we only have three different drivers that I compared. The driver from September, which is 24.9.1. So basically the numbers represent the year, the month, and the number of drivers in that month. Very handy naming convention, I have to say. I don't know why Nvidia has such a weird numbering scheme going on to be honest i'll have to figure that out one day um, and then we have the one from october which is the one in the middle the first one where black Ops 6 was officially supported and finally the one in december at the very bottom when we first again focus on the orange bars which are for the black Ops 6 multiplayer segment then it's actually really hard to find a pattern other than the average fps seem to degrade with each new driver then on the other hand the one percent lows seem to just jump around a bit um, but frankly it actually looks like the december driver might perform slightly worse than the one from october and if we now look at the blue bars for urzikstan then once again i want to stress that you shouldn't over interpret the one percent lows and instead focus on the averages so on the long bars on the on the right side essentially and here we can basically see the performance is pretty much identical Again, it looks like the December driver performs slightly worse than the one from October, but the differences are very small. So for AMD, if you only play Black Ops 6, then my recommendation at this point of time is to just keep with the October driver and not just update, but likely you're also not going to miss out any significant amount of performance if you've already upgraded to the latest graphics card driver. So in summarizing then, what has been the purpose of this video? Well, essentially I wanted to show you that the graphics card driver version really doesn't play such a huge role when it comes to performance in modern games. What is much more important are actually in-game optimizations and the actual game version, because I noticed that the actual version of the game had such a disproportionately larger effect on performance in Black Ops 6 than just changing out the graphics card driver. So even though you might think that upgrading your graphics card driver led to a degradation in performance, then it might actually just be that the game has been updated to a different version where it actually performs worse. Maybe you have running a new app in the background that is using a lot of performance that you don't notice. Or what can also be is that the new driver hasn't been nicely installed over your old ones. So my final recommendation would be to always do a nice uninstall of your old drivers using the display driver uninstaller utility. This is a free tool that you can just download off the internet. Um, it's called DDU for short. And essentially what it does is just it does a clean uninstall of your old graphics drivers. I know it's a bit of a hassle to always go through this if you are upgrading to a new graphics driver, but trust me, if you do have issues with your graphics driver, then this is definitely worth it. Now, on a final note on this entire driver discussion, I really would recommend against using a driver that is not officially supporting the game that you're playing. If you're starting up Black Ops 6, you'll actually get this message here if you're using an unsupported graphics card driver. And of course, you can say that, well, NVIDIA just wants you to upgrade, so you will get worse performance, so you'll buy new graphics cards, which is complete bogus, because let's be honest, the people that develop these drivers are all nerds and they want you to have the best performance possible. They don't want to degrade your performance with new drivers. That would be silly. But still, I really would trust more the developers of the actual software than some random YouTubers. Actually, also trust them more than me, to be honest, because I'm also just a random guy out there doing my tests. I try to be as transparent as possible about the way that I collect my performance benchmark results. But of course, maybe I'm also doing this all wrong and there's a better way altogether. But essentially what I want to say is that if the game is warning you that your drivers are outdated, then maybe this not only has to do with your average performance, but also has to do with stability. So it can be that these very old drivers are just very unstable on the game that you're trying to play. And maybe the reason for all of these DirectX crashes that people are having is that people are playing on super outdated drivers. So yeah, that's long story short, don't go for super outdated drivers. 
but in the end of the day you also don't have to bother too much about the driver version because performance is pretty much identical across all of the latest at least Nvidia drivers. For AMD this doesn't apply that much because they don't have that many drivers that they release but on Nvidia you really don't have to bother too much which driver version you're using. So that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of deep dive into graphics card drivers and performance. Kind of a bit of a more verbose video than what I'm usually doing but I hope this gave you some insights. If that's the case, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.